For if any man be in men Christ, men wanna look like women more and more. Yeah. Men wanna act like women more and more. Yeah. Men wanna dress like women more and more. That's right. And women wanna act like men. Am I right? Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again. Did you all another video? Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely fabulous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers, other Trey King Show family, and much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, yes, we have a story that we really need to discuss because as of today, why are so many people out here selling their souls and their holes for a jelly roll? Anyway, today is Thursday, Thursday, so I need you all to get those sweet, precious, Badass kids out the room right now so we could dive deep into this video because I ain't come to play the day I came to slay. Anyway, get those kids out the room right now. Let's go. Mm. Perfect. Anyway, hoping those kids out the room by now. If those kids are not out the room by now, tough double E titty. Now, since today is Thursday Thursday, guess what? All sides matter. Now I'm talking about those cups. We ain't talking about no wood or nothing like that. Because wood is the reason why we're talking about this whole video now. Now before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you out to my channel members. And also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also to my cousin Tay Tay. Yes, back home in Houston. And y'all already know. Tay Tay sweet as bear me. Yes, Tay Tay is hella gay. And no, I'm not throwing my cousin on the bus. Because he already know that he is sweet as bear me. And also, for people who've been watching me a long time, they already know. Tay Tay is out there real, real bad. Now, not only is Tay Tay really uh, confused about this whole story, but I'm also confused and also my subscribers is confused. Now, I know a lot of you all look at that picture and you're like, what the hell is going on with this, Trey? Make it make sense. And I'm trying to make it make sense. You know, I was listening to Pastor Geno Jennings out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania yesterday. And big shout out to Pastor Geno Jennings. And a lot of things hit me what he was saying. And I found it to be so true. You know, we live in a world. No, and I ain't come to preach, I come to reach. You know, we live in a world where it's so much vanity, so much sin, so much people, what this, what's that word? Yeah, dying to fit in. You get what I'm saying? Now, what's really more appalling other than the fact that you see a grown man dressing up like a woman or whatnot, and then got the nerve, want to say that uh he's bisexual and that he like transgender women. But upon further research, and the person I'm talking about is named Lil Wop. Yes, Lil Wop. Say it with me, Lil WAP, W-O-P, U-S-S-Y. Anyway, now, uh, Lil WAP came out recently, just a few days ago on Instagram, posting this picture, as you all may see right here. Now, I was wondering, who in the hell told him to purchase lips like that? That's a hell of a pose right there. Imagine you talking to somebody, and all of a sudden, they hit you with the duck pose. Make you want to punch them right in their mouth. Anyway, not saying Lil Wop should be here or whatnot, because we don't promote violence on this channel. One thing we do promote is this right here is walking upright. You got to walk upright in life. Now, what's really more sad is the fact that how in the hell do you wait till 2022 to come out as bisexual and also that you like transgender women and also recently with these photos. And you all see these photos? Now, the problem with this whole situation is this right here. Is you really gay? Or are you just doing this to play play? You know what I'm saying? Because we have what they call right now going on in this world more than anything, especially in America. It's called, uh, yeah, the go along, get along game. And a uh, big shout out to Kwame Brown for phrasing that. Now, my thing is this right here. I know we have people that go along and get along, but you got to understand this. Look here. You have a thing called a soul. You feel me? Is it worth your soul? Now, you might be saying, well, Trey, people are struggling out here. People are doing bad. Uh, you know, people just trying to get ahead in life. And guess what? That's why they have jobs. That's why they have colleges. That's why they have careers. But I understand. That's old news. Nobody really want to work no more. I understand that. Nobody want to go get trades and degrees. I understand that. It feels outdated. But guess what, though? You can rest assured when you go to school and you make something of yourself, or if you go get a career, you stay at their job 10, 15, 20 years. Guess what? You can rest assured at night that you did the right thing and that you did not have to sell your soul. You did not have to pretend that you were something that you are not. But the problem is this, is you're doing this for real or you're doing it just to get some coins, some tokens, some clout. Now, I understand, look, clout is the new drug. I understand a lot of damn things, but the people need to understand one thing. You know, when we see stuff like this, we should call it out. And true enough, we cannot call out everything. Now, guess what? Like I told you all a couple of minutes ago, if 
it was shown that this guy was really gay. Guess what? It wouldn't really be a video about it. And guess what? That's his business, what he want to do. But anytime you sit up here and go to social media, you put something out there, the public have a right to come in on it. If not, keep it to yourself. But at the same time, Think to yourself of people who still have a little morality left in them in this world, people that still have a little uh, dignity and self-respect, what we call integrity. When you see this picture, does that not make you upset or confused when you look at this individual? Because you're like, how in the hell you look so tough and gangster in one picture and the next picture you like this with the duck lips? You know what I'm saying? And then the fact that he will say, as you all see right here at the bottom, he says this right here. He says this when he was doing an interview. He said, don't get me wrong. I ain't out here sucking D. Or getting elfed in the butt. Or no S like that. But I'll make a ninja my B-I-T-C-H. You get what I'm saying? Now, that don't make sense. Now, you saying that you ain't out here sucking no diggling and you ain't getting elfed in your butt, but you'll make a ninja your B. You know what I'm saying? What kind of mess is that? But then you're expecting all this because I'm like trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. So I go over to his social media, which I shouldn't have done, but in order to do a video, you have to do what we call your, uh, it start with an R. It's a, a research. You know what I'm saying? You have to do your research first because I don't want to be one of these bloggers to sit up here, just talk out my butt like some of these people do. No, you have to go check. But guess what? When you go check, be prepared for the worst, just like I found. But it wasn't what you thought. Now, when I went over to his Twitter, I was expecting to see him with Feminine men, transgender women. But I did not see one damn feminine man. I did not see one transgender woman. I don't think I've seen him having sex with females, with women. Now, you would think for a guy to come out and put himself out there on social media because he put himself out there like that. Nobody didn't put him out there like that. Tasha Gay didn't put him out there like that. Lovely T didn't put him out there like that. No, he posted the picture himself. So guess what? We should come in on it. Now, you would think that a guy put himself out there with makeup on, dressed as a woman, and looking like a... Uh, Little thought, you would think that he would have men all in the videos and on Twitter or whatnot. When you go over there, it's just him having sex with women. So that leads me to ask, are you really gay or are you just doing it for play play? You get what I'm saying? And that's the reason why my cousin Tay Tay mad. You feel me? Cause Tay Tay thought he might have had something with you. You know, I'm just being for real, for real. Cause Tay Tay don't know how to take this. How the hell are you going to say in one breath that you like feminine men and you like transgender women, but at the same time, it's not a transgender woman on your Twitter. It's not a feminine man on your Twitter that you're having sex with. You're having sex with black females or whatnot. And shame on those females because you don't know where that diggling I'm being. But I'm going to say this right here. Look here. Look, you can do what you want to do. But anytime you have to stoop so low just for a few coins, I mean, who does that type of thing? And he was doing all this just to promote his OnlyFans. Like, I don't understand people just because y'all have a penis or a vagina that don't mean everybody should do OnlyFans. You have everybody they mama doing OnlyFans these damn days. And you be like, whatever happened to covering yourself up? Like, I mean, it don't make sense to me. And that's why you would never see me doing nothing like that, even though I'm sure some people would like to see that. But I ain't trying to pull out anything for nobody. I pull my stuff out. This whole camera, this whole room going to get dark. Anyway, now WAP also said this also. He says, I'm masculine. So I'm a mother elfin king. Oh my God. No, you're a mother elfin queen. Anyway, he goes on to say, I come from kings. Yes, you do. Royalty. Yes, you do. I like power. Which one? You talking about the one with 50 cent? Ghost? Uh, Tariq now? What kind of power are you talking about? Also, he goes on to say, I ain't soft, sweet, or none of that ish. You get what I'm saying? But hold on. But if you ain't soft or sweet or none of that ish, why in the hell are you standing up there looking like this? With that duck pose. I mean, that's as soft as it get. You get what I'm saying? That's Charmin soft. Anyway, now he also says, I just wanted to put that out to the world. So everybody's welcome to come elf with me. Oh my God, that was the wrong word to use, elf with you. Now, how in one breath are you going to say that you're a king and also say you ain't soft or sweet, but then go on to say that you like transgender women and also feminine men? To me, that's as sweet as it get. Now, true enough, I understand that some people look at things different in life. I understand that I come from a different generation. You get what I'm saying? And I'm glad I do. Because guess what? When none of this go on back in the damn 90s and early 2000s, all this mess didn't start happening until the late 2000s, to be honest with you, on social media. Because, you know, I don't understand why people, you know, if you're going to come out the closet, come out the damn closet all the way. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to push people out the closet for six and a half years, almost seven on YouTube. I managed to push a few rappers out, but guess what? A few of them still hanging on to that door. They refuse to come out that damn closet. We're going to get you out that closet. Hold on. Mm. Yes, we're going to get them out that closet one way or the what? 
other. Now, I'm going to say this right here. Look here. You know, the way you start life is the way you finish. But like, but like Pastor Gino Jennings say, am I right? Am I right? You feel me? Am I right? When I say that men need to be men, women need to be women. And if you're going to be gay, guess what? Be gay. Don't try to straddle the damn fence. And that's what it sounds like. Because how in the hell, like I say, and I'm going to keep emphasizing that, how in the hell in one breath you say that you like transgender women and feminine men, but then when people go to your Twitter account or whatnot, they only see you having sex with black females. So it seemed like to me that you're just doing this for clout. And that's the reason why I said the video like I did. That's why I stated the video like I did. Why do people sell their souls and also their hoes for a damn jelly roll? Now, I get it that you saying that you don't suck no diggling or you ain't getting elfed in the butt. But at the same time, how you sitting up there saying that you like these men and you don't consider that to be gay? That is a gay as it get. But at the same time, it's this right here. Look here. You can do what you want to do in life, but, you know, no amount of money is worth me selling my body for. No amount of money is worth me selling my soul. But guess what? Rich people die all damn day long. Let me say it again. For people out there willing to do anything for clout, anything for a few dollars, guess what? You have a thing called taxes. You have a thing called uh death. You feel me? Now, you can make $50 million off of OnlyFans selling your soul, having sex with multiple, uh, whoever you want to. But guess what? The day you die, what good does it? What good does it do you? That's why I want to know. What good does it do you? Like the Bible say, what does it profit a man to gain the word but lose his soul? And that's what's wrong with a lot of people. A lot of y'all have a lot of material positions, but guess what? Like T.I. say, you're piss poor morally. Where's your morality at? Where's your morals at? Did anybody even teach you that? Now, I'm sure I'm one of the only few YouTubers that talk like this. You know, I make all kinds of videos. One day it may be a jokey joke. One minute it may be something serious. One minute we may be clowning somebody for some stupid stuff they've done. And the next minute it may be very serious. But at the same time, you know, I don't understand what's wrong with people this day and age. You have grown folks, grown folks parading themselves around like this. And who in the hell in their right mind told Lil Wop to sit up there and post for a picture like that? Who in the hell told him that? Because whoever told him that, Lil Wop, you yourself need to go pop the hell out of him. Anyway, I'm going to say this right here to you, Lil Wop, and everybody else that think like you. Look, if you're going to come out the closet, come out the damn closet. Now, like I said, I wouldn't even made this damn video if I went over to your Twitter and seen you with transgender women, feminine men, because that's what you said you was about. You know what I'm saying? But anytime you say that you stand for this or you about this, and then when I go check or other people check and we see something different, we should call it out. Because like I say, it's like you're just doing this for clout, for some uh kind of, you know, fame or whatnot. And I don't understand what's wrong with people. Because at the end of the day, guess what? If you can live with it, I guess we can also. But if you're going to come out that damn closet, come on out the damn closet so we can close the door. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, Please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. We can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and keep it real no matter what you do. And don't let no amount of money change who you really are. But guess what? When you die, that money still going to be here. And also, once again, in closing, like the Bible say, what does it profit a man to gain the world but lose his soul? Think about that. Because a lot of people that's in these big houses and driving these big, nice cars and have a lot of money, a few of them, a lot of them have sold their souls and did all kind of illicit things to get to where they had. And guess what? They regret it every day. That's why a lot of them kill themselves because they can't live with what the hell they done with themselves. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this. Me, I'm going to keep it real to the end. And guess what? I'm out.